I recently had a very interesting experience um, and I wanted to share it with you today. I already made a video in the past about how to publish uh, your own music, you know, using CD Baby or um, any kind of website that allows you to publish music, put it on Spotify. And I also briefly touched on how to uh, promote your music into Spotify playlists. I talked about Submit Hub, which is the website you see right now. I'm going to get back to it a little bit later. But I wanted to share a um, recent experience that I had on a little project that I was asked to do. So. I was uh, working with an artist. I'm working with this guy for a year now. We've done a lot of music together. And he told me that he has spent a significant amount of money on playlist promotion. Now, in my previous video, I did not touch this, uh, but there is a big industry of paid Spotify um, playlist promotion, which means that you find a promoter, you can find these people on Google, you can use Playlister, for example, which I'll talk about also in a bit. This was also part of my little project. Um, you give them money and they will make sure that you're placed on a playlist. And anyways, um, this guy has spent a significant amount of money on uh, playlist promotion on different companies. And he was just not happy with the results. He was noticing that he wasn't getting uh, a lot of new followers. And I actually told him, you know, it's interesting because I know that there are a lot of fake playlists too. I remember there was a time that I was working with another artist and I saw that they released a song and it um, got a lot of plays on Spotify. So I asked, how did that work for you? And they said, oh, I found someone on Fiverr. So <clears throat> I tried that too. And um, I got a lot of plays and then of course stopped getting plays altogether. So in the end, um, I learned later that there are bots, you know, there are, there are uh, bot farms where you can, you can pretty much pay someone and then, you know, like you don't know that you're doing this, but you're giving your song for someone to promote it. They work with some bot farm or something. They make sure that you get a lot of fake plays. And then after a week or after a month or something, you stop getting plays altogether. So anyways, I told this guy, you know, I can actually check um, how legit these companies that you work with, I can check you know, Playlister, I can check. He's also working with a private company that is uh, promoting his songs to playlists. And I told him there is a um, service called Chartmetric. Chartmetric is like Google Analytics for music. It can give you analytics on a playlist, on a playlist curator. It can give you analytics on an artist. It can tell you about the demographic that listens to this artist. It can tell you anything. It can show you the growth of followers. It can show you how many songs are on a playlist. If you are, um, let's say you're trying to get into playlists, but you don't know what kind of playlist that you get to, you can look at your favorite artists or you can look at artists that are similar to you and then think, oh, they're on this and this and this playlist. So I can also go on this and this and this playlist. It's a fantastic tool. Chartmetric is fantastic. There is a problem that it's pricey. They have three options. They have a free account, which um, allows you to look at very basic information, not too much. Um, then you have an artist account, which is like $10 a month, and it only allows you to see playlist history or in general data history for one month. And from my research, I needed to have more than one month of data to see if a playlist or if a curator of a playlist is legit. I needed to see behavior of data over a long time. And just from hearing myself talking about this, I can tell this is mega boring. I remember also when I started with this and I was learning how to read the data, I thought, who the hell wants to do this? We're musicians who wants to sit and read graphs all day. But I had to do this because I was asked to do this. So I ended up getting the premium account. And with the premium account, I was able to see many, 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 many things. So how did it work? Well, pretty much um, the client sent me um a list of playlists and he said can you check this can you can you check how legit they are and i came across some very suspicious behaviors across different playlists and also creators that i checked and i checked also on youtube there weren't that many videos that show you exactly how it's done so i wanted to give you a couple of examples of what is suspicious what should be a red flag if you choose to use um chart metric and what does a normal looking profile look like? So here are a couple of examples from the playlists that I analyzed. Um, most of them came from Playlister, by the way. So from 10 playlists, this guy got from Playlister, which is this website, like you, you have like a fixed fee, you pay them every month and they put you in playlists. I checked 10 playlists, nine seemed pretty fake. So um, here's a couple of examples. 
I found this playlist. And here I can see that this is a playlist, who owns it, this is the owner of the playlist. And right here I can look at the followers of this playlist. And I can look in one month, doesn't really give you too much information, so this would be your basic account, like your, not even the free account, but the artist account, you'll be able to see this. Um, three months shows you a little more. If you look at overall, you will see something really funny. Look at this. This playlist has 1,600 followers. It appears out of nowhere in May 22nd, 2021. You see this here in the bottom. It doesn't have a lot of changes followers for a while. It just, just it stays flat. And then one day here from, uh, what is this, April, April 28th to April 29th, it drops by 1,000 followers. This is a very, very clear indication that this Curator has bought fake followers to their playlist. Spotify is always scanning these things, is always looking for fake um, fake accounts, and they delete these things. And as you can see, in one day, they deleted 1,000 accounts. So you can tell, for example, that this specific playlist is not a real playlist, and I would not um, waste my time or money trying to uh, get into this playlist. And maybe this is why also a lot of people don't bother making these videos, because I guess you're like, you, need, you, you name names. And I don't mind, you know, it's like, in the end, my um, purpose doing this video is to make sure that if you're going to pay for playlist promotion, that you don't get scammed and that you don't lose money and don't waste any time on putting your songs into the wrong playlists. I want you to be able to promote your music in a way that makes sense and that actually creates growth. So another, another example, which is a red flag. So one is like you can see many, many followers, then one day, bang, no more followers. I found this curator. Um, the artist got into, I think, this uh, playlist, this playlist, and um, as you can see, so I was just looking at this creator, and as you can see, she has uh, how many playlists? Like three, this looks like, yeah, six playlists, and look, one playlist has 23,000 followers and then the rest of the playlists are like 19 followers 17 followers 15 followers three four how does this make any sense how can you have so many followers on one playlist and then have barely any followers on the other playlist obviously this is a red flag um one more example that i found and this is i think the most important thing when it comes to how to read chart metric uh information this is another playlist this guy got on it's called sad songs for sleep and the creator name is a dinosaur emoji. I ran, I, I, I looked at a lot of playlists. Like also I checked out a lot of creators and like, this seems to be also a red flag. If the creator name is either a dinosaur emoji or a guitar emoji or a battery emoji, there's some people just don't have a name. I think if you want to see that the person that owns the playlist is a real person, they should have a name, not just an emoji. So this is one thing, but this is not what I meant when I said, look at some suspicious stuff. What you're looking for is abnormal growth, then nothing, and then some more growth. You know, you're looking for ridiculous uh, exponential jumps in number of followers and stuff like that. So look, again, with one month, you can't really see too much. You just see that it's declining. Three months gives you a better um, impression. If you look at all times, look at this. It starts off pretty weak, like in uh, August this year, August 2022, with 55 followers. Suddenly here, it's like, all right, still, suddenly it, it, it jumps pretty fast here. And you see there's like this one day where it like doubles. So you have this very, very exponential growth, very, very fast within like, what is this from, um, from August all the way to September. This playlist has grown significantly and suddenly nothing, absolutely nothing. So this is something that uh, if you're going to use chart metric, I'm pretty sure most of the people that are watching this are not going to use chart metrics. It's just, you know, just to give you a better idea of what's out there. Um, if you're going to use it, just look for jumps, then nothing and then more jump or jump nothing and then strong decline those are like the ways to read this also you have this dotted line here so you're looking for a place where it really um there are spikes so i gave, I gave you some examples of some um suspicious looking playlisters i thought i should also you know show you some better uh examples so by the way uh bottom line these were all playlists that got uh, that the artist got through playlister I don't really recommend playlister for this and if they have a problem with it I will have to deal with it I guess so uh, this I can close 
Um, yeah, so in my previous video, I talked about SubmitHub. SubmitHub is still a very relevant tool when it comes to uh, finding good playlists that fit your genre, uh, finding good curators, submitting your music. Uh, sometimes you pay $2 per submission, but sometimes you pay three, sometimes you pay $1. But SubmitHub is not um, totally clean. There are many, many curators there. Some of them are fake. And the next thing that uh, I wanted to show you is what I did is I thought, okay, I wanted to also give this guy a report of like, it seems that some of the playlists you got are, they seem legit, but at the same time, they do not match your genre. So what I thought is like, these are just random genres I tried, like the, the genres that I looked for were singer, songwriter, alternative, like these are also the genres that I work in. And I started to check curators that have playlists for folk music, for singer, songwriter, indie music, like the um, ambient music, uh, dream pop stuff, pretty much the genres that I work on as a producer, because I'm making this video also for the artists I work with. I want everybody to um, have a better direction on how to promote music. And if you're going to do it via SubmitHub, there's so many people who should you send stuff to, because as I said, not all curators are legit. I could check curators also on chart metric. So I wanted to give you an example of, you know, uh, a curator that I found. They're called Big Sun Records. I found them on Submit. And um, I checked them out. And here you can see they have, um, it's, it's not like a big curator. They have 5K followers and 2.5K followers uh, on their own. So like they, these are the playlist followers and this is the curator followers. This is also sometimes a red flag if you see that someone has like 100K followers and then they have 30 followers of their own. It's a bit suspicious, it's a bit fishy. So look at their playlists. They have a couple of playlists. All of them have normal names. You know, I've seen playlists like best songs of all time, best indie 2022. It's like just, it doesn't make sense. Look, these are pretty normal um, names, folk finds, alt folk. Like it just, you can see also, they're really focused on specific genres. Like this is a creator that's really focused. You can tell it's a real person, nothing too exaggerated. If you look at the history of followers again, it looks pretty organic like everything is like here you got some non-movement but like it's it looks pretty good you know like it, it grows slowly sometimes there's no growth but nothing too suspicious no no red flags so if you're looking for um if you're going to use this tool and you're going to look for curators or anything like that um i would say look for just either growth very very slow growth or a little bit of growth a little bit of decline just look for like you know, look at this green line. It, it looks pretty normal all the way up to here. And here you have a little bit of variation, but nothing too big, nothing suspicious. Another thing with chart metric that is really cool is that you can see also um, playlist history, which is like how uh, one person got from one playlist to another. But again, um, you, you can check out chart metric. I'm a bit overwhelmed right now with all the data I've scanned in the last couple of days. And what I wanted to finish this video on is, um, so as I said, I went to uh, Submit Hub and I started to go through curators and I'm still working on this. And I made a list, um, it should be here, there we go. I made a list of, so far it's these genres that I looked, so alternative rock, folk, singer, songwriter. I'm going to add some more uh, genres that are relevant for my uh, audience. And yeah, I just found good curators like i just checked many curators and some of them you know looked a bit suspicious their growth of followers was a bit suspicious all kinds of things like i i mentioned in this video before but so far here is my list that of of curators that i checked they seem legit they fit the genres it's a good idea to submit to them all of them are on submit hub you can have the link directly to them so if you have a song and you want to submit directly to them you can just use these links. I will, of course, update uh, this playlist uh, as long as I have my uh, premium um, chart metric account, which costs $140. I, I got it just for this little project. So as long as I'm having it, I'm going to keep filling up this list. And if you are interested in this list, if you are um, promoting music for singer, songwriter, folk, alt rock, also I'm going to add some um, more electronic indie uh, dream pop stuff like that. Um, either send me an email or just contact me via my website. I'll probably put it on my website later somewhere, maybe in my, um, in my blog or something like that. But if you want this list, just get in touch and I'll send it to you. I'm happy to help. So I hope you find this useful.
and thank you for listening.